Welcome back to another racing event here on Forza Motorsport 7. I'm FHRC Brony, and today we're returning to Mugello Autodroma Internazionale, but this time, Equestrian Motorsport racer number 35, Starlight Glimmer, will be racing her BMW M8 for the very first time on this track. And yes, I said BMW M8, the car that was made popular as a meme, as, you know, a Photoshop BMW M8 that's huge. Anyways, the races are off. And yeah, you could probably tell why the BMW M8 GT is such a meme car. Look how huge that thing is. That thing is a monster compared to the, uh, these other cars. And then now goes to turn one. Coming into turn two. Great job by Starlight Glimmer, still keeping her line perfect. Coming into turn three. And now they're about to enter turn four. With the Koenigsegg Regera right behind Starlight. Coming into turn four, ooh, a little sloppy right there, but I mean, she's still on track. Coming to turn five, Borgo San Lorenzo. And then this part right here is Casanova, turn six. Now turn seven. All oh, the whole McLarens and whole army of McLarens over there are still in the lead. As they now enter through turn eight. Now this part right here is a decreasing radius turn, which is turn nine. Here it comes to turn 10. Marvel's driving by Starlight Glimmer. We haven't seen her race around this track, um, nor even you know, during the season. But if you guys have been watching Forza Horizon 3 videos from me, you'll see Starlight Glimmer racing around the Summer Fiesta uh, in Horizon 3 with a BMW M4 GT. Ooh, a little bit of some contact right there by the Radical. As they're now coming into turn 13. Yeah, look how huge that BMW M8 is compared to those other cars. Like I said, that's one of the reasons why it's a meme car. Because if you really compare that to a Ford GT, that thing is huge. As they now enter turn 14, this is the increasing radius turn. And here comes the final stretch. And she's about, ooh, what's going on over there? There's a little bit of some braking going on over there. Is there were they trying to brake check the, the M8? We don't know. So, Starlight Glimmers now starts her second lap. Coming into turn one. And she's still chasing McLaren's right now. Oh, she got off the track right there. Looks like Starlight Glimmer's hungry for McLaren flesh. Here, yeah, look how huge that thing is. I, I just cannot, like, I just cannot bear how big that BMW is. Like, these BMW engineers are like, let's make this thing big. Kind of reminds me of like you putting a 1/8 scale RC car on a 1/10 scale track with other 1/10 scale RC cars out there. So this, this kind of looks weird, but I mean this is BMW, so who cares? As they now into turn seven, now they're coming into turn eight. This one, uh, turn eight and turn nine is uh, it's going from an increasing radius turn to a decreasing radius turn. So this one's a little bit of a tricky one because last time I when I drove around this track. Um, back and forth in Motorsport 4 and uh, my early stages on, on Motorsport 7, this one kind of like uh, threw me off a little bit. So Starlight Glimmer, uh, ooh, passes the McLaren, okay, good job. Ooh, not really, spoke too soon. Uh, she's still right behind the McLaren. As it now enters through the U-turn here, turn 12. And now they're about, there we go, passes the McLaren through the wide section, coming into turn 13. Starlight like Glimmer flatting out this section. Marvelous job. Coming into the increasing radius turn, which is turn 14. Good job by Starlight like Glimmer. A little bit wide right there, but I mean, she's not too bad. And now she's now entering the pits. Okay, then. It is in. She now enters the pit lane. And um, much to my, if I'm not mistaken, the McLaren P1 did come into the pit lane too. And now she's entering the pit stop. And she's off again. And there's an Aston Martin and a Pagani Zonda passing by. Uh, they did not pit, uh, do a pit lane, but they still got one more quick stop left after this lap. And Solid Glimmer is off. 
he's about to enter turn one. Good job of keeping that racing line through there. A little bit too, it's not perfect, but it's, it's not, she didn't get off the track though, which is a good thing. Now she's coming into turn two, which is Luco, and turn three. Coming into turn four. Now coming through turn five, San Lorenzo. And now she's entering the straightaway, coming into Casanova. Not too bad there on Casanova by Starlight Glimmer. Now she's coming into turn seven. Now once again, the increasing radius turn, turn eight. And now he comes turn nine. Marvelous job by Starlight. Despite her absence and not really driving around um, with the team for a while, she is doing pretty good out there. And um, she mostly uses the BMW uh, M4 uh, mainly for mainly for Horizon driving. This one's this is her actual race car now. And. I know some of these MLP fans, they get too sensitive because Starlight Glimmer is driving a BMW and since it's German. And if you guys watch the MLP episodes, um, season on the old the old season specifically, they're actually portraying her as a, you know, like Adolf Hitler kind of thing. But when I did this, um, when I um, started Equestria Motorsport, um, I just randomly chose a BMW for Starlight Glimmer. I did not even like think about that. But anyways, uh, the... The white flag has not been raised, indicating the final lap. So anyways, uh, I didn't really think about that like when I started making uh, Equestrian Motorsport fan fictions and stuff like that. So it was not much of a... It was nothing like... It was kind of uncalled for for people to like, um, like call me out on that. It was just like... Because I have um, this one dude on Derpaburu, which is... Um, it's like a face, not like Facebook, but like it's like a Facebook-ish slash YouTube kind of place where people share MLP related content in that website. And I posted a picture of Starlight Glimmer in her BMW M4 and also this one. And people, there's this one dude who got really triggered about it because, you know, it, this is not really good. It's like, it really doesn't matter. And plus, you're talking about something from World War II to a car that's made in 2018 so why does it matter anyway it's enough of that blabbering uh, starlight glimmer is coming into turn 10 right now and now coming into turn 11 once again this is the final lap if you guys are, got a little bit off track right there and now she's coming into turn 12 and now it comes turn 13 and this one is the flat out section this is the part where I love about this track. Nice job by Starlight Glimmer. It was swirly there, but she got there pretty safely. And she's now coming into the increasing radius turn, turn 14. And now the final stretch. And Starlight Glimmer wins this race for sure. Now here we go, and we got a race here. Marvelous job by Starlight Glimmer. Equestrian Motorsport is still up with undefeated. 29 wins and 0 losses. One of these guys is going to lose.